Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more uh, Persona 3 Reload. And uh, we got the Queen Elizabeth drink for our Queen Elizabeth. So we're going to turn that Good in right day. now. Here are my requests. Let's hear the result. It seems you've completed a request. One moment please while I check. My apologies. I see. So this is the beverage that bears my name. It does indeed say Elizabeth on the label and there is a very lovely, very rich aroma. If I am to be honest, it does make me feel a little prideful. I'll take some time to enjoy it later. Please take this as your reward. Okay, some more generic material. Cool. So those AS generic materials, will those always make gear for Igus specifically? Okay, the Ojiro we can't do yet. The shrines. King and I. Please paint my powerful persona a pretty purple. Please paint my powerful pe Hmm. This is harder than I thought. <laughs> Okay, I was not expecting that. Okay, then the straw millionaire. This is the bartering thing. Okay. Honestly, some of these might be at night, Very too. Well, then. So. Let's see. Is there anywhere marked on the map? Looks like this is still marked over here. Okay, here we go. Oh man, this is bad. Where did I drop my student handbook? Do you need something? I'm a little busy now. Hey, uh, wait. That handbook you're holding. Can I see this? that student handbook? I was just looking for mine. This might be it. It is mine. Oh, thanks. You saved me. Oh, yeah. As a thank you here, take this. Irresistible catnip. Okay, that might be for the kid over at the... Um... Blinking on the name. I got this for free when I was shopping at Aoyige Pharmacy, but I don't own a cat. Anyway, if you have no use for it, just give it to one of the cats at the strip mall. Strip mall, that's what I was trying to think of. Yeah, it's gonna be for you. I tried putting on cat ears, but the cat still won't even look at me. Maybe if I had a cat toy, but I don't think I have enough to buy one. Is that a cat toy? Do you have a pet cat? Nope, you can have this. I can? Thanks! I should give you something in exchange. Oh, I know. You can have this cat ear headband. I don't need it anymore. Here you go. Okay. Maybe Elizabeth would like this headband. I should tr try showing it to her. Oh my god. Please. Please have her put it on. Please. Even if it's only for like a second, I just need to see her put it on. Good day. Here are my re Let's hear the results. It seems you've completed a request. Oh my. What is this delightful item? I cannot resist the urge to put it on. Well, here goes nothing. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. I thought it was just the ears. We did not need the nose piece. Meow. <laughs> I'm not into this. <laughs> I see. Wearing this will transform you into a cat in the blink of an eye. And this is coming from somebody who played Xenoblade Chronicles 3 and tried so desperately not to fall for the cat girl in that game and failed. Um, this ain't doing it for me though. <laughs> I'm sorry, Elizabeth. You're still my queen, all right? You're still best girl, but. Wearing this will transform you into a cat in the blink you of an have eye. My Thank you for this lovely gift. Now I too can be a straw millionaire. So funny. Turquoise. Not Topaz. Do any of these give Topaz? As a gift? Or as a reward? Lime Swimwear? Who would that be? Oh, that's probably for Fuka, right? I won't insist you do anything, but it'd be greatly appreciated. Okay, none of the rewards are Topaz. We'll just have to get it in one of the upper areas when we go into Tartarus. Because we clearly haven't gotten far enough to start getting those. Very well then. Okay. All right. So we got Moon. We have Maiko, who is not ready. Okay, this is not Hayase. This is the old couple who are already done. 
and we have Moon. Okay, we do need to do the shrine at some point, but we'll maybe pick... You know, we have a really long summer, and we might eventually have a day where we don't have anything else to do, so... We'll let that one wait. There's no deadline on it, so we don't need to rush. Okay, that's okay. Um, you know what? I do not have a hanged persona. I don't have hanged or moon right now. Oh, I do have moon, unfortunately, but I'm probably... Let's see... We're gonna get somebody from Hanged. And we'll hang out with Maiko. Because I don't want to hang out with Moon Guy. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Red is overriding, except all registered. Please take a look. Is this acceptable? Very well, it's yours. Are you finished? We look... progress today, but we'll get some affinity. <laughs> Next time we can... Hey, what do you want to do? I can feel my bond with Maiko strong grow stronger. Okay. We'll be able to progress on the next hangout. Have we received a new mission? I don't know, but the alarm's not ringing. Yes! Oh my gosh, Koro! Koro-chan! Are your wounds healed up? Huh? Where'd you get this collar? That collar is designed to help control his persona. Basically, it's an evoker for dogs. Wait, does that mean Koromaru is going to fight with us? I honestly wasn't expecting this either. But the test results show it's quite possible. In fact, it was actually a request from the chairman. We'll be looking after him here in the dorm. Koro-chan, is this what you want? He says, I'm returning the favor. Man, you're one loyal dog. Hey, sounds good to me. I, for one, welcome him with open arms. The more the merrier, right? Who cares if you're a dog? Good to have you, boy. Welcome to the team. All right, I'll take him for a walk. And it's the perfect time, because it's summer break. Yes, it is. You're free to enjoy your vacation, but don't forget about your schoolwork. Summer classes start next week, so don't lose focus just because we have a lot of time off. Summer classes? Uh, summer... Wait, what'd you say? Oh, I forgot about summer classes. Summer classes. Did you not hear about them? All right, so we don't have nearly as much summer free time as I was thinking looking at the calendar. We're going to be taking supplemental courses. I've already applied for all of us. Oh, I know how thank difficult you. it's been to balance <laughs> so nice of you. and our <laughs> late night excursions. All right, hopefully what we'll do is we'll get... Hopefully that gets us uh, academics points. We actually still need those. I'm sure you haven't had much time to study, so I apologize for that. <laughs> so she signed us up for summer class. The oh, chairman God. agreed it was a good idea as well. I could have sworn I told Takeba and Yamagishi. Are you serious? First I've heard of it! I would be so mad. Oh, uh, 
I'm sorry. I completely forgot to mention it. No way! Hey, you're the one with the worst grades here. Why are you so surprised? Come on! I want to hear it. <laughs> Don't you think? Honestly, definitely. Uh, well, it's only for a few weeks, so let's do our best. I got top of my class. Both tests. I don't need this. Alright, I actually do need this. Gotta max out that academic so we can start hanging out with Mitsuru. At any rate, we've gained a new ally. Kurumaru, he is a loyal companion who will fight valiantly for his master. As the team leader, I must properly support him. God, it feels like it's been the longest week of all time. I was looking at that Saturday and I was like, did I miss the sodas this week? Because I feel like this week has felt so long. So much has happened. <laughs> okay. But no, tomorrow we'll be able to get new sodas. What? We gotta start getting them back because we used like all of them. <laughs> Summer school, huh? Well, it's not that I hate studying that much, but... I just don't think we should have to go to school during summer vacation, you know? Did it get added to our calendar now? Yes, it did. <laughs> Alright, it's only one week, and then we get the summer festival, so there's that at least. It's so funny. Could it be? I didn't expect to meet Persona users outside of ourselves and those we've located and recruited. Not to mention ones filled with malice and hostility. As if we haven't been busy enough keeping the shadows at bay. What are we going to do about Korachan's meals? Are we going to buy dog food or cook homemade meals for him? We should decide soon. Hello. Well, dogs can be very reliable, you know? Why, there are rescue dogs, seeing eye dogs, narcotic detection dogs. Let's put our trust in Koro. I will. Trust him with my life. Koro Marusan's persona exhibits a unique characteristic. It seems he has two types of powers that can be activated when using Theurgy. This is one of his biggest advantages. Cool, that sounds interesting. Woof woof. Pet the dog. Yes. What a good boy. He looks content. Maybe I should take him for a walk tomorrow instead. Okay. Alright, what are we doing tonight? Man, I wish I could go to the shrine at night. Like, if you could do fortune readings, like affinity readings, at night, like you can in uh, 4 and 5, that would be so nice. Isn't the your, like, really good item half a mil? Yeah. Protects from all ailments. That could be very useful. If we find ourselves in a great, great excess of money, I'm probably going to get that. The earrings of grit sounds pretty damn good, too. And it's once per battle. So, like, putting that on your main character, that can save you from Hama and Mudos that manage to miss a homunculus, you know? More experience. That one's interesting, but I don't really feel the need. Um, damn, no topaz. I would definitely buy two topaz if it was here. Why? Good to know that we can buy some of that stuff, though. Hey. What'll you have? Oh, it's you. You seem to come by a lot. Maybe I'll hire you if we need an extra hand. I heard it's almost time for the summer festival. Damn it, I don't have anyone to go with. Oh well, I'll find someone. I lost a ring in my room and the other fortune teller couldn't find it, but when I asked Mama, she told me where it was on the first try. I couldn't believe my eyes when I found it. It felt like a dream. Amazing. I've got a few things I'd like to find too. Maybe I should ask her. Now tell me, what shall it be? I wonder if you'll get anything new. 
I want to know my future? Three blades close in on you, tearing the shadow apart. A brave howl confronts them. Things seem to be stirring around you once again. There is more. In the depths of the abyss, another blade watches you closely. Let us hope that you find fortune in your destiny. What's up, old man? Uh, more, I need more. He's drinking by himself. You. What? You again. Me again. I thought your face looked familiar. You here again, kid? <laughs> Even Buddha's not that forgiving. All right, that's it. I'm gonna hand you over to the bouncer and... Well, there's no Buddha in this world, so... Stop looking at me like that and sit down, kid. So tell me, is it that fun hanging out with an old monk whose own wife and kid left him? Ouch, he gets... Real personal, real quick. He's got a ring on every damn finger. <laughs> How come you're always alone when I see you? Don't you got any friends? I remember the answers for Mutatsu always were difficult to pin down which ones he would like. Maybe I don't have any friends. Well, either you like being alone or you've got problems. In any <laughs> case, well said. No hesitation whatsoever. <laughs> you just gotta be straight with this don't man. Don't worry if you don't got any friends. Most of life's troubles come from human relationships anyway. Let's define a friend as someone you hold dear. The way I see it, no one in this world ever really cares for others. People always want something out of a relationship. They only really love themselves. You don't call someone who doesn't like you your friend, do you? No, because you know you won't get nothing from them. Which means in this world, no one you can truly hold dear. At the end of the lonely road of love, kid, you're the only one left standing there. Ooh, that's some bitter sentiment. What? You see those gals over there? Ones on the dance floor? You can bring one of them over here. I'll be your friend in return, eh? Huh? <laughs> what do you think? I know you can do it. A high schooler and an old monk. I feel like the demographics here are not good for picking up chicks. I felt Mutatsu's warped trust in me. I feel like I understand Mutatsu a little better now. Tower rank three. You tired to go talk to him, huh? <laughs> you look like you're gonna doze off any second now. Go home for now, kid. Besides, I know you're gonna come again anyway, even if I tell you not to. He's right. I said goodbye to Mutatsu and went back to the dorm. Alright, home shopping show. An irritatingly catchy song comes from the speakers. Hello everyone, welcome to the home shopping show Tanaka's Amazing Commodities. I'm your host Tanaka with a live presentation of my amazing commodities. We'll show you great products at unbeatable prices so don't touch that dial because you won't want to miss these. I'm going to do it. Today we're introducing the assorted summer drink set. Is the heat driving you to your wits end? Cool off with these refreshing Good. drinks. Good. First up we have the isotope soda and you get 10 of them. So cool, so refreshing. Oh my goodness, it's wonderful. But wait, there's more. Bad, we'll throw kid. in this Mad Bowl, too. Guess how many? 20. Oh, they're replenishing my store. Hell yeah. All of this just for 39.80 yen. Oh yeah, we're buying this. Okay. 100%. 30 sodas. Let's go. Thanks, kid. But...
Sports and school work the same. No matter how strong you are, those who don't put in the effort fail. It's the same with school. If you don't study, you won't pass your tests. By the way... Oh right, this is Kuramara's new home, isn't it? It's gonna be a lot of fun with him around. <laughs> I wonder if Korochan is enjoying dorm life. I really hope he'll get used to it, and then come to love it one day. Let's see. It must be easier taking Kuramar Kuramaru on walks, with the nights being cooler this time of year. Dogs can't regulate their body heat by sweating, you see, so remember to keep an eye on them. By the way... I have heard that Kuramaru-san's persona is Cerberus. This being appears in Greek mythology as the watchdog of the underworld. Considering how Kuramaru-san was guarding the shrine alone for quite some time, it suits him perfectly. It certainly does. It certainly, certainly does. What a good boy. Okay, multiple things here. Ah, we got a hangout, huh? Well, I guess this is what we're doing then. Oh, Hanalog, perfect timing. You see my message? The one about my great idea? I did not. I just found you here. I was thinking of carrying it out. Should I spend the day with Junpei? Yes. <laughs> Hell yeah, you know what's up. All right, somebody let me know. If you miss these, are these set on one specific day? Or will he show up on another day and give you more opportunities? Okay then, I'm gonna go buy the thing we need. Just wait here for me. Watermelon. That's one magnificent melon, ain't she? It's the highlight of my day. So, I've been thinking of throwing a watermelon splitting party. We haven't really done anything summery since vacation started, you know? Yeah, this seems like specific to summer, so I bet you these are missable. If you don't do them on the day, I would not be surprised if you completely miss them. Especially Amada. He always looks so bored when I see him on the board. And man... That kills me to see. It'd be a real shame if he didn't have a single entry in his summer picture diary. That's really thoughtful of you, honestly. <laughs> I can already see the look on his face. He'll be like, Jupe san, you're super cool and you're super nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, don't you know? They say women can't resist a guy with a soft spot for kids. All right, there's the ulterior motive. Gotcha. And you know I take it all back. I'm gonna need your help. It's a win-win situation, don't you think? And you know, oh boy. I think my arms are gonna fall off. Ah, yes. Today's shaping up to be a glorious day. Such a shame that the third years and the ladies won't be joining us. I love that Koro is here. We're splitting watermelons. I'm out. Oh, <laughs> he didn't even what? think it's cool. Just like that? You're not even gonna hear me out? Lame ass kid. You have a watermelon and a bat. What else could it possibly be? That's more for little kids anyway. Plus, it's really hot out. And look, I get you're trying to be nice. All right, you precocious little shit. <laughs> Come on, we're bored. <laughs> hey, don't make it sound like we have nothing better to do. We have nothing have better a, to do, Jinpei. Guess we really don't, huh? <laughs> Come on, let's have some fun. Well, when you put it that way. Couple losers maybe without just girlfriends. For a bit. I know, Koromaru. Don't you worry, boy. I didn't forget about you. All right, what are we waiting for? The youngest gets to draw first blood. Now this is what real summer feels like. My blood's pumping something fierce. Look who's acting like a kid now. <laughs> oh yeah, where's the blindfold? We can't split watermelons with just a bat. Speaking of, this bat seems kind of worn in, doesn't it? Yeah, it's been used to bash in the skulls of our enemies. Oh, wow, you got that. That bat and I go way back. Had it since I was in Little League. I've never mentioned this before. It's news to me. Uh, must have never had a chance to talk about it. That I used to play baseball. I mean, anyway, that's old news now. Wait, then should we really be hitting watermelons with this? Hmm? Ah, uh, 
Well, nah, it's cool. Don't think I'll be using it much from here on out. Koro, what's wrong, bud? Dying to chomp on some melon? Koromaru's trying to tell us something. Hey, come on, Koromaru. We can't swing at the watermelon with you in the way. Koromaru? Hey, why don't we use something other than the bat? The dog said we can't use it, so we can't use it, Junpei. What do you want to use? Koro's the boss uh, around here. Anything, I guess. Just as long as it's interesting. Interesting? Kind of a weird request. Oh! Like if Sonata-san used his bare hands? <laughs> Someone say my name? <laughs> yes. Whoa, Sonata-san. Use your bare hands. Well, when I got back, I thought I heard voices coming from the roof. So I came to check it out. Hmm. Watermelon splitting, huh? That's right! We were just talking about what to use to hit it! You're not gonna use that bat? We want to use your fists. My fists? On this? Oh my god, yes! I'd actually love to see that! Now he's gonna think that Sonata is cool. Poor Junpei. That's okay, right, Junpei-san? Huh? Uh, sure. If that's what you want. Alright. Guess I better make this good then. Yay, try not to go all out or there won't be any left to eat. Whoa! Sonata-san, you're incredible! What the heck? How are we supposed to eat it now? I don't know, it seems like eatable chunks. Look at that. It's not that bad. Can't believe that thing was still edible after it exploded like that. Didn't go exactly how I was expecting, but looked like a mod ad. <sighs> Man, I was acting kind of lame back there, huh? You know, before we busted the melon. I'm talking about the whole back thing. You were just trying to be thoughtful. I didn't want to come off like I was having second thoughts, but I guess I couldn't help it, huh? I was supposed to be this cool mentor, but instead, the kid ends up pitying me. You have great qualities. <laughs> Don't worry about me anymore. <laughs> I'll just get even sadder, you know? <laughs> He's like, come on. Come on, man. I mean... I'm not saying it's your fault, dude. Uh, how the hell do I put it? Uh, this is a me problem. It probably doesn't make sense. I feel like my life, my teenage years, it's just all over the place. Anyway, I think we're done for today, yeah? Appreciate you helping me prep and clean up. Well, let's head back downstairs. I really like these events. Charm is improved, after seeing how considerate Junpei is. Yeah, it's some good character stuff with these. Ah, good evening. I just came by to check in on Koromaru. Do you think he'll do well? I'm sure he'll do fine. That's good to hear. Well, given his reputation for loyalty, I wasn't too worried in the first place. If you have any concerns, please feel free to let me know anytime. It's only fair, considering I was the one who requested that Koromaru join the squad. Oh, I'm all for Koromaru joining us. He's totally welcome. I'll even throw in training lessons from the master. Um, I'm pretty sure Korra-chan's already more disciplined than you. <laughs> Could you even sit still if someone told you to stay? Hey, don't compare me to a dog. I'm totally disciplined. I can follow directions. Kinda. Yeah, you really sold us on it. Anyway, so, 
Mr. Chairman, uh, about those summer classes. Ah, yes, I heard about Kirijo-kun's plan. It sounded like a good idea, so I went along with it. No, why would you agree to that? Oh, was I being nosy? Oh, I'm missing out on my passionate summer romance. She's disappearing before my eyes. Farewell, my beautiful city girl, awaiting me by the shoreline. <laughs> the city or the shores, pick one. Even if you didn't have classes, you'd probably just bum around the station all day. You should just accept your fate. Oh, by the way, Mr. Chairman, weren't you about to tell us something before he arrived? He just got roasted, man. Poor guy. Ah, that's right. Aside from my unnecessary meddling, I do have another request for all of you. Okay. Does everyone have a moment? I think it's a good time for you all to get a routine health checkup. You know where Tatsumi Memorial Hospital is, right? Oh, that's where Sonata Senpai was treated before. With how much you've all been fighting lately, it'd be best to stay on top of your physical health. It wouldn't be good if your personas were causing any strain on your bodies, right? I expect it shouldn't be too much of a detour to stop by the hospital after your summer classes. Okay. I understand. Still, this is rather sudden. I think this might be new. Don't worry too much about it. Like they say, a stitch in time saves nine. Or your side. We'll be doing the checkups individually, one day at a time. You can decide amongst yourselves who goes when. Don't forget to deck up for your checkup. <laughs> uh, just kidding. I don't even know what that means, bro. Oh, maybe bring your evokers in case you need to take any shots. <laughs> Y'all can't see me, but I'm dying inside. I am dying inside. Get out, Ikutsuki. Leave. You're not welcome here. Yes. I was just talking with everyone about Koromaru. He'll need to be taken on walks, but we won't be assigning that duty to anyone in particular. It would help if you could take Koromaru out for a walk at night if it seems he wants to go for one. I said leave, Ikutsuki. You see... I don't want to hear that your grades are slipping because you're spending too much time in Tartarus. There's nothing I can do to help with that. So study hard and do your best in summer school. Okay, we got the sodas here, but we actually didn't go and get the other ones. Um... Let's see... I get not wanting to attend summer school, but I think it's necessary. After we defeat the rest of the Shadows, we'll become ordinary high school students again. And if we fall behind in our studies now, we'll be in big trouble later. <laughs> well, that's it. Junpei the Wise has yet another brilliant idea. All I have to do is become a dog. Then I won't have to go to summer school either. Yes? Hmm? Koruchan is trying to say something. I bet he's complimenting me for being so smart. Are you stupid or something? I bet he's laughing at you, saying how stupid you are, Stupe. <sighs> summer school starts tomorrow. Honestly, the more I think about it, the more I'm dreading it. Yes! Damn right. Hey, Kuramaru, wanna switch places with me? Kuramaru is looking at me with pleading eyes. He seems to want to go for a walk. You know, the thing about the walks is that they so often are not worth it. <laughs> That's the issue with the walks. So we probably won't be doing too much of that for the next little while. Too many other things we still need to do that are way more valuable.
What's up, old man? Huh? <laughs> what a strange kid you are. I was just thinking you might show up, and here you are. Hey, don't get the wrong idea, kid. It's not like I was looking forward to seeing you or anything. Uh-huh, sure, old man. Anyway, what's the deal with your hair, kid? Doesn't it get in your eyes? Is that the style nowadays? My son kept his hair long, too. You wouldn't understand, Baldy. cut it. No, better yet, shave it all off. Give the bald <laughs> look a try. Yeah, I don't know, man. I, I don't know, old man. The hell is that supposed to mean? <laughs> is that a yes or a no? What, you're not giving me a clear answer? Cause I'm bald? Oh sure, you're young and good looking now, but just you wait. I mean, look at me. I'm old and ugly. My cheeks sag like a damn bulldog's. That's life, kid. People get old. Someday you'll be just like me. One day in the future, you'll see your mug in the mirror and think, Damn, I was handsome back in the day. Here's a little trick so you don't lose hope in the future. Just don't expect nothing. Simple, huh? That way you won't ever be disappointed. You're gonna lose your hair eventually, kid, so why bother with it now? Bald is beautiful. You just <laughs> wake up in the morning and go. No fuss. You'll need a hat for the winter, but I say go for it. I'll spot you money for a shave and some clippers if you're short. I saw through Mutatsu's harsh words and felt his kindness. Damn, we got like nothing from that. I feel like I understand Mutatsu a little better now. I almost want to rewind that one to get the affinity points. Rank 4 in tower. What, is all my talking putting you to sleep? Well, you can't sleep here, kid. Go home and rest in your own bed. I said goodbye to Mutatsu and went back to the dorm. Alright, starting summer school. Oh, yay. Ooh, it's already so hot at this hour. By the way, have you heard anything about the dates for the health checkup? I haven't. Jeez. Really? I told Junpei to let you know. Yours is on August 14th. Anyway, it's seriously way too hot out here. Let's hurry and get inside. I need to be in a classroom with air conditioning staff. Yeah, what the hell is this health checkup about? First day of summer school. Despite the summer heat, I managed to pay attention to the lecture. Oh, are we gonna get two for each day? Oh, hell yeah. Okay, we better hit that rank five this week or I'm gonna lose my shit. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna just live with the Mutatsu stuff because we won't have a chance to rewind. Second day of summer school. Let's get on with today's lesson. I know it's hot, everyone, but let's just try and get through class. Focus, focus. <laughs> Still, who would have thought people would actually attend this course over the summer? You sure are a curious lot. I'm not really sure what to make of that. Anyway, let's talk about something interesting today. All you future magicians will want to pay close attention. <laughs> today's subject is tarot. That's right, those cards often used in fortune telling. Despite originating in 15th century Europe as normal playing cards, tarot cards evolved into tools of divination. There are a variety of tarot card decks, including the Marseille, Marseille and the Rider decks. But today, in honor of the great Crowley, we will be using the Thoth deck. So, continuing on. Let's talk about the composition of the deck. The modern 78 card tarot deck is divided into two parts. There are 22 major arcana, the face cards, and 56 minor arcana, or number cards. The minor arcana are also sometimes called pip cards. The major arcana feature a variety of illustrations on their faces, beginning with the fool and ending with the universe. They tell a story in numerical order that represents an individual's journey through life. Each major arcana represents a stage on that journey, and each stage represents an event an individual must experience to achieve wholeness. Let's do just that. They are all important, so let's take a look at each of the 22 cards one by one. Are we actually going to go through every single one? First card is the Fool. 
represents beginnings and suggests infinite possibilities, in other words, the beginning of life. The next card, the Magician, represents action and initiative, but also immaturity. Yeah, that definitely represents Kenji. High Priestess represents contemplation and inner knowledge. Empress represents motherhood and maternal love, as well as one's vitality. The Emperor is an opposing card. It represents fatherhood, as well as leadership and decision-making skills. The Hierophant represents formality and knowledge. It is a symbol for religion. That is to say... Lovers represents choice. Here, the individual finally begins to develop a conscience. The Chariot represents the individual's victory, but only a momentary one. Justice is exactly what it sounds like, knowing what is right and what is wrong. The Hermit represents self-reflection, in other words, searching for answers deep within one's heart. Fortune represents fate and the opportunities it brings. Strength represents both passion and self-control. It is depicted as power with reason. The Hanged Man reflects in the individual's inability to take action. Spiritual death awaits the individual with the 13th card, which is aptly named Death. Death is considered a transitional card. With death, the old ends and the new begins. All right. Let us move on to what happens following the transition. Temperance is the beginning, is the balancing of opposites. Opening one's eyes to the world allows for growth. And then an encounter with the devil is where one faces temptation. At the tower, the individual's values will start to collapse. It seems as if there's nothing to believe in. The individual then finds a glimmer of hope in the star, granting one peace and serenity. In turn, this makes one vulnerable to the moon's illusions, which gives way to fear and trepidation. But the individual may be rewarded with a bright future by the sun, which signifies true achievement. Judgment awaits the individual at the journey's end when looking back on the path one has traveled. The final card is the universe, which represents the individual reaching full awareness. And that's the growth of an individual as explained by the tarot. Perhaps all this talk about life doesn't hit home with you young folks just yet. <laughs> well, then. well, now you can use all 78 cards to divine the future in detail. Most people only use the 22 Major Arcana. Okay, next let's talk about fortune telling using the Major Arcana. First you will need to shuffle the cards. If a card is reversed, its meaning will change. Now this is important, so pay attention. Mr. Edagawa continues to drone on and on. Despite the summer heat, I managed to pay attention to his lecture. Give me those points. I don't hit rank five during this week, I'm gonna lose my shit. I promise, I will. Third day. Really, I was that far away still. Okay. I really thought I was getting close to five there um, when we were doing the last test, but clearly we were super far away. <laughs> Fourth day. Come on, this is the one, this is the one. It is the one, yes! Okay, rank five, everything is rank five. Six is the last rank, so we're almost maxed out. Of course, academics is still gonna take a long time but to max out, but still. Almost time to head to summer school. I need to stop by Tatsumi Memorial Hospital on the way back. Fifth day. I, uh, guess we'll get oh started. no, are you gonna have another really long lecture? Let's begin. Yod Hev Vav -hey. How are you all handling the heat? I could brew you some of my special tea if you'd like. <laughs> now let's continue with our special summer course, The Truth Behind Magic. I'll be talking about Kabbalah. I assume all of you have at least heard of Kabbalah, yes? It is known as the mystical study of the Hebrew scriptures, but as I mentioned before, it had a great impact on Western society. It has been said that to learn the secrets of magic, you must first understand Kabbalah. Okay, then. So who was the person who formed this incredible ideology known as Kabbalah? Well, according to the legend, it was Moses. Yes, that Moses. The Moses who gave us the Ten Commandments and, the split, and split the Red Sea. But in reality, it was formulated by a group of rabbis long, long ago. However, because it features such a complicated coded system, Kabbalah did not become known to the Western world until much later. Now, it is important to note that there are many different ancient methods of deciphering Kabbalah. For example, there is Gematria, the interpretation of text by replacing letters with the numbers they represent. There is Notarikon, 
where you take a letter from each word to form another sentence or thought. There's also Tamura, a method where letters or words are replaced, thereby giving the sentence a new meaning. All these different methods make it difficult to fully comprehend Kabbalah. Cool, so I understand none of this. On. One of the most important ideas of Kabbalah is the Tree of Life, comprised of the Ten Sephirot. Most illustrations depict it as a chart shaped like a tree. The ten nodes represented by the Sephirot and the twenty-two paths connecting them. Twenty-two again. All come together to form a map of God's creation and the spiritual ascent of man. Where did we come from? Where are we going? These answers lie in the Sephirot. When training your magic, it's important to picture the Sephirot every so often. And when you are meditating, you should focus on the Sephirot as well. This is going to be on the test, you know. They say knowledge is another form of magic, so study hard. If you find yourself struggling, well, you may wish to turn to the Sephirot. <laughs> By the way, did you all notice that I said there were 22 paths? I certainly did. <laughs> That's right. The same number as the major arcana I spoke of before. <laughs> now continuing on, according to Kabbalah, existence is broken up into four worlds. Oh yes, before I forget, I'll be giving supplementary lessons in the nurse's office as of the second semester. I'm thinking of doing demonstrations with tarot cards. What does this mean? As such. But I won't have time for that during the lecture, so if you're interested, stop by after school. Yeah, what is that about? Everyone is welcome. <laughs> hmm. Mr. Edagawa continues to drone on and on. Despite the summer heat, I paid attention a little bit. Enough to get a couple more points in academics. I should go to Tatsumi Memorial Hospital for my checkup. Thanks for being so patient. That just about concludes your checkup. Sorry yours ended up taking so much longer than everyone else's. It's about time. Why did it take so long? I'm sorry. Really. If I'd known how long it would take, I would have scheduled an entire day for it. Your persona abilities are rather unusual compared to the others, aren't they? That's why we had to run so many more tests on you. Well, based on how you perform so far, I don't expect there to be any problems. Persona abilities can be dangerous, depending on how they're used. With that in mind, it can't hurt to err on the side of caution. How are you feeling about it? Do you have any concerns about your power? I mean, you could say that. A strange boy visits me in the night and warns me about the end of the world. A little That's concerning. Understandable. But I don't think there will be any issues with your test results. And based on what I'm hearing from Kirijo kun's reports, you've been performing just fine. I truly am grateful for everything the team has done, especially you. Things have really changed for the better since you arrived. Our team has grown, and we've even figured out how we can eliminate the dark hour. In a way, you've sort of gotten the clock ticking for us again. It's almost as if we were just waiting for you these past 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid I can only really support you from behind the scenes. But I'll be counting on you to eliminate the four remaining shadows. Now then, it's getting pretty late. Why don't we get you back to the door? Oops, excuse me for a second. Yeah, this whole scene is new, in case anybody was wondering. Hello? Oh, thanks for your help the other day. Uh huh. Yes. It's missing from that document? It's urgent? Wait, but, but by today? Looks like he received an urgent call. I should head back to the dorm alone. Iwatodai, Iwatodai. This is the final train bound for Tatsumi Port Island. Please board before the scheduled departure time. I didn't make it oh, home before midnight? It looks like you're at Iwatodai Station now. It's so late. We were starting to get worried. Hmm. Um, did you run into any trouble? My checkup took a long time. Oh, I see. I hope everything's alright. I'll let Kirijo-senpai know. We're in the command room right now. 
I'll go ahead and navigate you back to the dorm. I'm sure you'll be fine, but considering what happened with Koro-chan, I'd rather play it safe. It's very kind of you. Thank you, Fuka. <sighs> Uh-oh. Wait, I can sense a shadow! And it's really close to you! It's over at the Moonlight Bridge! It's too at dangerous to go alone. You should stay put until everyone else gets there. Interesting. Okay. Oh no! There's another reading near the shadow! It's a person! Call the others. Quick. Takaya. And what have we here? So much power, so much chaos. I'd not be foolish enough to turn my back on such a predator. And on top of that, we have an unexpected guest tonight. Not a very favorable situation, all things considered. So, given this little predicament, how do you intend to partake? Well, I'm not going to let it murder you, even though I probably should. So let's see what you're capable of. Are we going to fight together? So long as you aren't against me, I will allow it. Huh, I interesting. I don't know what our foe is capable of, but I trust you can protect yourself. This is kind of cool. What a hapless night, is it not? Well then... Shall we begin? Oh, debilitate? That's rude. Shadow of the Abyss, and he's clearly What's based that? off of, um, I can't think of his name right now, the Persona. Um, but this is definitely just an updated design for that Persona. Can't think of his name, but... What to do? Um, let's see. I need Dakunda. Damn it. Come. Hmm. So that's your strategy. You haven't seen shit yet. You don't know my strategy. It's tougher than it looks. This too is fit. Top off. That was quite a spectacle. But it's time to end this. You make a good target. As a reward for your efforts, let me show you my power. Come! Persona! How about this? Maggie? Okay. <laughs> Very cool. The finale was surprisingly unsatisfying, wasn't it? The defeated shadow seems to have dropped something. Is it like an old school evoker? Your persona ability is truly fascinating. It's different from the one I saw the last time, isn't it? So, you can choose from multiple personas to fit the situation. You must be burdened with an extremely unusual fate. It seems your friend has arrived. Then I suppose I'll have to be on my way for tonight. What is your name? I'll tell him. 
analog vernacular. I'll see to it that I remember. Enemies though we may be, I'm not one for leaving a debt unsettled. I shall have to repay you another time. She's so cool. Are you all right? <laughs> Did you already defeat the Shadow? Good work, but that was an unnecessary risk you took. The situation called for it. You can fill me in on the way back. In any case, I'm glad you're okay. Happy to ride, bitch. I explained what happened on our way back to the dorm. Arms around Mitsuru. <laughs> you can picture it. Glorious. <laughs> yes. Oh, there you are. You had a long night, huh? On that note, let's not go to Tartarus tonight. Okay. I'm sorry. Thanks. I'd like to look into Strega with the chairman's help. If I find out anything, I'll let you know. Also, I understand your circumstances last night, but try to avoid staying out late from now on. Okay, last day of summer school. Despite the summer heat, I managed to pay attention to the lecture. Okay, here's our uh, sodas. I wonder if the isotope does more than five. At least summer school's over now, but doesn't it feel like we kind of wasted our summer vacation? I'll have to make a bunch of plans to make up for it. I wonder if anything's going on soon. I have a suggestion. I am currently aware of a summer festival tomorrow and a film festival the following day. Oh. That's right. Wait, I guess are you thinking about going to the festivals? Yes. Indeed. My data indicates that festivals and other like events offer unique experiences. So, for investigative purposes, I plan to infiltrate such a shindig. Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, try not to stand out too much, I guess. Okay, they do 10 SP. Awesome. Yes. I have learned the meaning of the Summer Festival. It seems like a very interesting event. I am looking forward to equipping the special armor known as Yukata. This will be a new experience for me. It looks like Karijo senpai and Sonata senpai went out again. How do they still have energy after summer school? Oh, I'm so tired. I think I'm going to go to bed early tonight. Um. Karijo senpai and Sonata senpai aren't around, so I don't think we can go to Tartarus. I know we haven't been going very often because of summer school, but we don't have much of a choice in the matter. Okay. So, tomorrow's the Summer Festival. So, that's what we're going to be doing in the next episode. Thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Have a good one, everybody. Bye. I'd like to give a very special shout out to my patron supporters Darren York, ZTD, Knife Namase, Kyle the Monarch, Chris Murphy, JW, Quinless, Vlado101, Andy Ford, Bruce Wizzle, Black Mamba90, Eureka Gecko, A Happy Fat Panda, Turkeyfoot27, Pato Kuto, Shadow Raven, Anna Kate the Great, The Blue Electric Cat, Emily Kuzanoa, and Nadia N. If you would also like to join this tier or any others, check out my memberships or my Patreon in the description down below.